Hey guys, Dora here, and today is day one of Sabathon. I have a very late start to the readathon. I believe it's currently like four, five. It's actually gonna be five in a minute. What happened was I tried to sleep in, but I woke up naturally at eight am and if you follow me on twitter you know i had a bit of a cricket problem what had happened last night or this morning i laid on my bed i turned on my sleep music it's on spotify i could feel myself drifting off when all of a sudden i hear this chirp and i thought it was part of the music at first because if you've ever listened to sleep music, you know there's some weird ass songs that can get anybody to fall asleep. So I was like, it's probably one of those. And then I think it was like around 30 minutes later where I realized this is not a song. I walked down the stairs and Lord behold, there was a cricket in the foyer. I think that's how you call this part right here. I hate bugs. Spiders are my ultimate enemies, but any type of bug is just I scream and I run out of here. I tweeted how mad I was at it because now I couldn't fall asleep because of the chirping and I couldn't fall asleep because I knew there was a bug in my house and I just I couldn't do it. I live five minutes away from a 24-hour CVS so I got a pet friendly spray as soon as I got home I opened that bottle up and I started spraying it and it ran under the heater and I haven't seen it since. And I also tweeted this and I said, either this cricket died underneath there and I just can't get to it, or it's actually mocking me and waiting for tonight to do its chirping again. Now it's five o'clock and I am just about to start reading. I'm not sure if I want to continue with Eliza and her monsters because I know this one will give me a lot of feels and it's turning out actually to be a very quick read because it has art in it so some pages just go by quickly and then I have the astonishing color of after which is the Sabathon group pick it's a very big book kind of like the same size as Eliza and her monsters but I know this one I'll end up reading a little bit slower since it probably won't have art then I have white rose black forest which is under 300 pages I believe it's like 284 pages long it's 258 pages long so I believe this will end up being a really quick read and I don't know if I should read this and just get it out of the way or just finish Eliza and her monsters. I think what I'm gonna do is start Eliza and her monsters. So it is 514, so I'll check up with you guys at nine, which is four hours later. <laughs> hey guys, update on the cricket situation. I saw it on my curtain, and as soon as I saw it on my curtain, I jumped. <laughs> I was screaming. I tried spraying it with that pest thing, my jigger, but nothing happened. So now I'm looking at it on that couch and I'm freaking out. Look at that. That's the cricket. I can't. I can't right now. <laughs> the plan was to get a, a, a cup and a plate to try and grab it and maybe toss it out into the wild, but I'm scared to get it. I don't know what to do and I'm freaking out out i don't know if i should spray him or or just <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> okay i'm gonna try and figure out the situation now and i'll be right back update on the cricket i got this and a paper plate because i was thinking of like trapping it and then sliding the paper under it and then setting it out to the free because you know i didn't want to be a murderer but it jumped I freaked, I let it walk around, and then it ended up ended up going near a children's book, because when I take care of my nephews, you know, I read to them because children need to be read to. With my sandal, I squished the book down. So it didn't see me coming, and I squished it. It's dead. I'm a cricket murderer, and <laughs> I am sweating profusely right now i'm nervous i feel like my couch now has cricket eggs so that was the most horrifying thing ever but at least it's gone and i will probably be able to sleep tonight it's exactly nine o'clock so four hours later <laughs> i am gonna do a reading update now that um the cricket's dead let's 
sit on the floor because this is where I'm at, where I dumped everything when I was in my state of shock and panic and fear. So <laughs> this is gonna be an exciting vlog. So I started off with Eliza and her monsters and I'm on page 107 and this book is making me so emotional. I almost cried twice. I don't know what it is, but this really is an emotional read and the tears were happy tears But at the same time they're tears that this character gets me like the way this character feels the way her mind works Somehow it correlates with how my mind works sometimes like figure I'm not creative in the sense where I can draw It's just the way her mind works socially wise. <laughs> let's go with that her capacity to be a social person is not that high. She reminds me a lot about who I was in high school, especially my senior year, because, I mean, I'm not gonna say I was friendless in high school, but from freshman to 11th grade, I was in a good group of people, friends, and something happened my senior year that I ended up disintegrating myself from them. I just, I needed time to myself, I needed time to think. I became Eliza. I would sip on myself at lunch, I kept to myself, I hardly ever talked to anyone. You know, she gets me. The way she thinks, the way she feels, that's who I was when I was in high school. And it's just very emotional to read that fictional character is out there that reminds me of myself. Okay, but yeah, that's my update. I'll try to do my last update before I go to bed if I end up reading some more. And I'm sorry if you guys hear a loud beeping in the background. I don't know why it always does that when I film in the living room. Hey guys, Dora here. <laughs> and I'm coming to you with a face full of tears and my eyes are still watering. And <laughs> I think I might need a minute. I'm still on Eliza and her monsters and I was so right about this book. This book is making me so emotional and as you can tell it's making me cry. I am currently on page 234. My eyes already watered like three times before I got up to this point because like I said yesterday for some reason like this book gets me the characters get me like I understand the characters and I feel like the characters understand me and I understand the story like I connect so much with them and I was right not to read this before Sabathon because this truly is a very emotional read for me this book is just way too real for me it's definitely going up as one of my favorites for 2018 but this book really truly is reminding me of how i was my senior year in high school because like i told you guys yesterday my senior year of high school i kind of disintegrated myself from my group of friends for various reasons and i became eliza minus the drawing the art like i said i'm enjoying it so much and i'm almost done with it it is definitely a very quick read now that you guys saw my tears and i've updated you guys i'm going to continue reading and check up on you guys later hey guys story here <laughs> crying again i'm on chapter 35 which is page 306 of eliza and her monsters this is just such an emotional read i don't i never expected it to be this emotional like I knew for a fact it would make me emotional, but I never thought it was gonna make me cry like this. This is the second time that I've actually cried. Towards the beginning, I was emotional in some parts, like I didn't cry. And right before I started to get to the middle, my eyes did start to water, but I didn't cry. Once I read that email that Wallace sent to Eliza, <laughs> that was the first time I cried. And now chapter 34 just had me in tears and I think I want to cry again. <laughs> Like that family bond, Eliza never knew it was there. And then her finding out that it was, and then her brother's just standing up for her. It just made me, I was like, she's not alone. She might feel like she's alone, but she's not. Tears 
everywhere. And that's all I wanted to get, let you guys update. I'll see you guys later tonight. Hey guys, Dora here doing the final update for today's vlog and that is I've finished Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. Oh dear lord, what a roller coaster that was. Definitely turned out to be one of my favorites for this year. Totally loved it and I just can't stress it enough that I could relate so much with Eliza. The reasons why I cried three times while reading this book was because there were certain scenes that I like understood to the highest level of understanding because I went through that. There's one scene where Eliza's talking to her mom like when they go camping. That scene, I understood it so well because my mom and I had the exact same conversation once. I just remember that conversation my mom and I had that day. I understand how Eliza felt because I felt the exact same way. I'm 26 now <laughs> and I still feel like that sometimes. It was a really great book. I just related so much with it. That is all today for Sabathon day two, which for some reason I kept thinking it was Wednesday, but it's actually Tuesday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on a new reading update. I am planning on starting the astonishing color of after so yeah like i said that's all i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys dora here today is actually thursday the 24th of may and yesterday i didn't do any video updates on my sabathon because i didn't read much i decided to take an easy day mostly because aunt flo decided to come into town and the first few days are horrible because of cramps so I'm just laying down with my heating pad. Reading wise, I have started The Astonishing Color of After. I read the first eight pages and then at night while I was still awake because of the cramps, I listened to the audiobook and I got to chapter 10. The chapters are really small and it seems to be going by really fast. Also, I wanted uh, to do an update because I've got some packages. Not book packages, but since I am talking about Aunt Flo, I was like, might as well talk about this. So if you don't like talking about this, you're free to leave and come back later or mute it. I'll leave the time where you can skip back to any reading updates. I would like to say that I am not sponsored by this company. I decided to buy these things with my own money to try them out. I'm not getting paid. Now that we got that out of the way, I wanna talk about the things I bought from the company Lola, which they advertise on having 100% organic cotton tampons pads and panty liners and I was like I'll give it a try I guess so I bought all three things because when I try something new I go all out so I got tampons pads and panty liners so I've got this big box and then I have this tiny box right here I completely destroyed the box trying to open it one-handed also here are my puppies this is Wiki and this is Melee. you guys seen them you guys met them before okay I believe two boxes are tampons and one is the box of pads so let's see I think this one's the tampons yep these are the tampons these ones I believe are the super okay yeah so these are the super these are the regulars and these white ones are the lights the thing about Lola products is that you can customize each box whether it be tampons or pads you can you know customize them to your flow I think the way I customized my box was three light eight regulars and seven supers so you know if you know your flow you know how to customize your box so i think this is the other box of tampons so i believe this is the box of pads which are regular and overnight i think i've got them half and half so i think it's like six regular and six overnight now onto this box which i believe are the penny liners oh i think this is gonna be much more harder to open one-handed so let me come back all right so here is this one and apparently they came out with sex products as well and I accidentally flipped you guys off, sorry. These I believe are actually considered penny liners for your light slash 
spotting days. I think they come with 28 liners. If you want to know more about the Lola products, I'll leave the links to their website down below. But I just got them to try them out. If I don't like them, I probably will cancel my subscription. If you're a person that has a visit from Aunt Flo every month, you know, and want to try something organic, I guess you can look into Lola. I mean, I can't really tell you to buy their stuff because I haven't tried them. So if you really would like an update about it, just let me know down in the comments below and maybe in a reading vlog or on Twitter, I'll tell you guys my thoughts on it. So I'm still here with my heating pad, you know, because Aunt Flo is having the time of her life in my uterus. I think I might listen a little bit more of the audiobook while I play the Kardashian. Oh, that's my nephew. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's so big now. Like I said, I'm gonna listen to the audiobook while I'm playing the Kardashian game. Yes, I hate reality TV show, but what can I say? The Kim Kardashian game is very entertaining. I'll be back. Check up on with you guys later. Hey, guys Joy here and today is Sunday the 27th and I missed like three days of Sabathon. I'm sorry I didn't vlog those days. I've been pretty busy. I think last time we saw each other I was bedridden with cramps and I was also reading The Astonishing Color of After. I haven't touched the vlog in a while but I finished The Astonishing Color of After. I cried once. It was beautifully written. I really enjoyed it but not one of my favorites. It's really hard for me to read books about grief and death especially if it's a book where the main character loses like a sibling, a parent. It's just hard because I've been through that. I know how painful it can be. Sometimes I can relate, sometimes I can't. Like with this book, I couldn't relate because the main character was trying to get through her grief through the form of colors. Like she used the analogy for her emotions with colors. And sometimes I understood, sometimes I didn't. I think I gave it a 95%. My review is up on Goodreads if you guys wanna check it out. I'm just taking a little break from my family. We have a little barbecue going on because we're celebrating my brother's naturalization, becoming a citizen to these 50 United States. Also because it was my mom's birthday on Thursday, so we decided to take those together, get the whole family together, and celebrate both things at once. I did take some pictures of our outing. I wanted to take some video to have it as like a montage in this vlog, but it is hard, especially when the sun is like at its peak. I usually, whenever it's about family, reading, whatever it is, or eating, I post it on my Instagram story. So if you guys ever want to know what we do, what I do, just follow me on Instagram. I don't post pictures that much, but I'm always posting on my story. Now back to reading. I am going to try and finish White Rose Black Forest. It's less than 300 pages. I believe it's like 280 something and I think I can do it. Right now everything died down. We're in food comas. I'm in my room. I'm gonna try and read, try to finish my last book for Sabathon because I really want to read all three books that I had chosen for Sabathon which was Eliza and Her Monsters, The Astonishing Color of After, and White Rose Black Forest. So I did start it a few days ago. I hope it's a quick read. Hope I enjoyed it. It's a library copy and I have to return it the 29th as well so I only have a couple days with it. I will update you guys later tonight before I go to sleep to let you know whether I did finish it or not but other than that I am signing off to deal in my food coma because I'm like full and I feel like ugh. So yeah. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, Dora from the future. I forgot to wrap up the entire Sabathon, so I'm gonna try and do it right now. Today is actually June 3rd. Let's start off by saying that I only finished two books. I finished The Astonishing Color of After and Eliza and Her Monsters. For the life of me, I couldn't read White Rose Black Forest by Owen something, I forgot his name. After I signed off with you guys, I actually ended up watching some Netflix and I was in a food coma, so I took a very long nap and when I woke up I ate again and 
the food coma once again set in and I fell asleep. The total amount of sobs that I had during this sabathon was three. I cried twice for Eliza and her monster and I cried once for the astonishing color of after. I wish I would have gotten me crying from the astonishing color of after but it was during one of those days where Aunt Flo was in town and I just you know I didn't want to film anything all I wanted to do is read and relax. Eliza and her monsters was a great book. I loved it. One of my favorite and I could really relate and the astonishing color of after was a great read not one of my favorites but it was still good nonetheless that is all i have for you guys today thank you guys for watching please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my face and i'll see you in my next video bye